Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Wicked riff. I mean, I'm a 90s kid, so I remember this stuff like it was yesterday. It makes me feel like 16 again. And uh, I don't sing this one just like I don't sing Jeff Buckley stuff because I get so much criticism and I'm a huge fan of Chris Cornell. I'm a huge fan of people like Jeff Buckley, but their vocals are off the scale. And so I'd rather not ruin it. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just show you guys the riff and the sections. That's pretty cool. It's in drop D. It's actually really easy to play. And uh, one thing to remember, it's not all like 4-4. It's a bit of a strange one. And my drummer probably loves to play this because it's in seven. And because, you know, most drummers I know, they're pretty weird and they like weird time signatures anyway. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, without further ado, let's zoom in and have a closer look. Okay, so here we go, we're in drop D. I'm just using my D string as a reference. If you don't know how to do it, you can go to the seventh fret on the bottom E string and it should sound the same as the A, okay? As you're down a whole step, down one whole step, okay? So. Really slowly, O, O, three, five, three, O, three. And what I'm doing, I'm playing both the bottom two strings, the E and the A. A little bit of a palm mute on here, just to keep it a bit more grunty. And then three on the A string, back to that power chord, six, five, three. And at the end, I just play up like that. Sometimes I see him go, go back to, up to that A. So, right, you get the idea. So there's your intro section. Start it slowly. Then you've got this uh, pre-chorus, I guess. So I used to play it two different ways. You kind of probably saw me do it two different ways. So what I'm doing, I'm playing a third and fourth finger in the seventh fret on the G and the B. And you can hit all the strings. I'm mainly aiming for like the top four strings. And then you're gonna use this first finger to play the fifth fret on the D string. Okay, so. Get the idea, so you can hit the other strings as well. Now that's a bit of an awkward shift down there, so you want that first finger to then go from the fifth fret on the D string to the fourth fret on the D string. So I tend to just bar those down there. Okay, or, you know, whatever fingers you find easier to do that with, okay? So, slowly. Then there, it doesn't really, again, it doesn't matter what fingers you use. I'm using the second and third finger. My second finger's fifth fret on the D. My third finger's fifth fret on the B. And again, I'm playing the top four strings. Fifth fret, third fret. Now, sometimes, just because we're on the acoustic to make it sound a bit fatter. So, because the bass is actually playing that note there, okay, which is G, um, you can kind of get away with playing like a bar chord there. Okay, if we watch Chris Cornell playing, he just does that. So it's your preference really, okay? So now you know. So 
So that octave at the end there, second fret on the G string, pinky up on the top E at the fifth fret. So down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. One stroke on the second fret. Down, up, down, up, down, okay. Then I'm just hitting the bottom strings. Originally it would have been played up here. You can still do that if you wanted, you know. It's just on the D and the B at the, uh, what's that? Seventh fret and 10th fret. And I go from the seventh to the ninth. So which is whatever your preference, okay? So then we're into like the chorus, I guess. Slowly. So that's six. Again, I'm doing the bottom two strings. So I'm covering one, uh, two strings with one finger. Six, five, oh, three, five, oh. Then five, three, oh, three, oh, three. Six, 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 five, three, oh. All right, let me do it again slowly. Then a quick O oh, three. One, two, three, five, four, O. Oh. With a bit of speed. Now sometimes I hear a little five slide to six at the beginning. And then a, so it's all in the feel, however you want to do it, okay? No rules, remember guys? So as you can see, it's just between 10 and open. One, two, oh. One, two, three, oh. One, two. Try and get the feel of it rather than counting and it'll sound a lot more natural. And there, you know, I'm just playing the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 as a power chord. So obviously then you're back into the main riff and everything repeats and eventually you come to this middle eight break. So let me just show you the positions, okay? So the first chord is actually a D chord. It's up on the A and the D. And then you're just removing to play that perfect fourth, I guess, right? But if you don't know what that is, it's just, when I play that power chord, five and seven, I remove the seven to reveal the five. Then I got this fourth, a uh, third, sorry, perfect third, okay? A major third. And that's gonna be uh, the fourth fret on the D string. Okay, so three little chords there. All right, and then he just goes back up. So with these fingers on, you're just adding that third finger back in on the fifth fret on the D string. And you're getting the pinky up there to the seventh fret, okay? Okay, then I'm kind of changing chords, so I go from that D power chord to a, a G power chord. You're probably used to seeing it there, but it's just fifth fret on the D string, 
seventh fret on the G string. Okay, so it's that kind of position. And now incorporating the open A as well. So. And again, I'm just hammering down to reveal that fifth again, the fifth fret rather, two, uh, two strings covered by one finger, okay, the two middle strings. And I'm just hammering that down there on the G string, the seventh fret. So then you've got this. You play that two strings again. And then you go down to play a third, like a, a G major again. So fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D. Okay, and then again, just like on the other strings, you can do the same thing. So it's... Then I'm bringing the pinky in to play that sixth fret on the B string. Okay. Just suspended okay and I'm playing from five and I'm flattening the third finger playing from six to five okay let me do the whole thing slowly and that just repeats Then we're straight back into this. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. Don't forget, you can find some merchandise over on my website. I've got some free tabs over there and stuff as well. I don't tab everything, guys, because it's just massively time consuming. But um, the important ones, I kind of try to, okay? Um, I don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright, so any loose change you have would be massively appreciated. I've set up a PayPal donation button. Everyone that's donated in the past and continues to donate, thank you so much. I can't really get by without you guys, so much appreciated. If you have a request or you'd just like to send me a question or anything like that, I'd do my very best to reply to you. Just hit me up over on Instagram. Guys, I don't really do Facebook Messenger anymore. It's just so full of spam, so try and hit me up over on Instagram, okay? Look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you again the same time next week. Have a great weekend.